Okay, we're back. I'm John Furrier with SiliconAngle.com. And I'm Dave Vellante at Wikibon.org. And we're here with Tim Young, who's the CEO of SocialCast, and now, of course, uh, VMware. That's not right. the CEO of VMware. Not yet, anyway. No, no, <laughs> but, I'm not. But SocialCast is now part of VMware. Yep. Uh, so welcome. Tim, Thank you. Tim, great congratulations. Uh, you know, your story is great. I mean, obviously, I've been following the social space for, for a long, long time, as you know. And uh, watch you guys come out of the woodwork, get funding. Um, great venture capital back, back in you guys. Uh, true Ventures, right? And uh, Yeah, True Ventures and uh, also Menlo Ventures. Menlo Ventures. You guys really came out of nowhere. Great product. And all of a sudden, boom, rising stars and bang, you get bought out by VMware. So let's, we want to talk about that. And we also want to talk about what's changing at the top of the stack in terms of applications. We all know Apple's got the App Store and everyone's going crazy on that, but you know, last year VMworld was really weak talking about what's happening at the top. They had the, the Zimbra acquisition under their belt and it was clear that, that Paul Moritz laid out, in essence, an operating system concept. Lower end of the stack, application support, spring source framework, and then obviously at the top of the stack is application. So, so first question, how do you feel as an entrepreneur? You sold your company, you made a little dough, now you're at the growing company, not yet a big company, but, but bigger than a startup. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it, it feels great. Um, you know, as an entrepreneur, uh, you know, I mean, essentially that, that's one of your dreams is to have the company be acquired, um, but most importantly, have the vision that you set upon with you and your team really kind of accelerated uh, at scale with uh, you know with a company the size of VMware uh, you know we really hope to continue the mission that we were on talk about that vision a little bit I mean I think of socialcast I think of Facebook for the enterprise I mean maybe that's a little bit too trivial but talk yeah. about that vision well I mean I think you know what we set out to do was not just build you know a Facebook for the enterprise what we really want to do is change how work is done. Um, and so when you look at, you know, kind of today's tools and what companies have invested in for employees, it's really been over the last 20 years in that back office suite. And, you know, what, what they really need today is a more flexible uh, communication dynamic, uh, you know, that goes beyond email and goes beyond mobile. So the question, the question I wanted to ask you is, you know, obviously, well, as a startup, you have very limited resources, right? So VMware is obviously, we hear that from all the startups. Oh, yeah, I'm excited. The big company's got resources. And you feel like you just got a whole nother level of, of uh, dry powder, if you will. Um, but, but the world of social has changed everything, right? So, you know, in Twitter and Facebook, they talk about federation. Federation is a, is a buzzword we hear in the enterprise now, especially with cloud. So how is the, your social cast transforming with virtualization? How is virtualization enabling you to take it to another level? Yeah, I mean, so SocialCast has had, uh, you know, a great working relationship with VMware for, you know, over three years prior to the acquisition. And what's really unique about our platform is that uh, for companies who still require things in their own, you know, private cloud or behind their firewall, um, they can run our product securely on top of the vSphere layer. Um, and so that flexibility of deployment, being able to, you know, run, uh, you know, a social platform uh, behind your firewall, uh, virtualized, or you can run it in a public cloud and be able to go back and forth in that hybrid scenario uh, you know, is really attractive to customers and why uh, you know, I think VMware saw that we were a really good fit. Can you share with us some metrics, I mean, in terms of the scale that you achieved prior to getting acquired and you know, users and growth and things of that nature? Yeah, so I mean, SocialCast has always been targeted really at, at large enterprises. So you know, we're used you know, widely by global companies like Philips, General Motors, Humana, um, and what's unique to our platform is that we really work closely with those CIOs to make sure that the platform is deployed, not just virally, but at scale. Because this is a, a network effect tool, and you really need to have the entire employee base on it. Um, and so that's what we really you know, focused on, was going out and attacking kind of that Fortune 2000. Enterprise social software is a little different than uh, traditional software, isn't it? I mean, it's not like, okay, here's the new email system, you will use it. Right? Like you say, you gotta get, it's got to get, it still has to be viral within yeah. the organization, right? So how do, you, how do you deal with that? Yeah, I mean, I think there's, there's a lot of different approaches to rolling out social software. And I think, you know, what social software provides is that, you know, kind of a, a, a better nervous system for companies that's built around community. And I think, you know, every community of people, whether it's online or offline, it has rules. Uh, it has leaders, it has expectations. Um, and so when you think about rolling it out, uh, you do so in kind of small stages. So the question I want to ask you is obviously, being a startup entrepreneur, and now you're at the big company, share with the folks out there, what, 
what they could expect to hear from VMware this year, because obviously every year VMware's kind of adding more and more and they're delivering new products. Cloud Foundry's a success. We're seeing some of the, some of the gaps fill in, in in the architecture. What will the folks expect to hear? I mean, from your perspective, you're, you know, I know you can't really talk unleash the secrets, but what, what can they expect to hear? What are some of the themes? Yeah, I mean, I, I think the big theme, uh, at least for our group, is really how do we help companies unlock the potential of their human capital? And if you think about the history of VMware, uh, you know, our company's done a great job at helping you unlock, uh, you know, the power of your, of your computing power. Um, and now we want to be able to take that uh, actually to kind of the human cloud. So, you know, above all of, you know, your applications sit people who are essentially problem solving. Um, and, you know, we think just like uh, virtualization, we solve a lot of problems with time and space. You can do that with your human capital as well. So, so virtualization, obviously, even just five years ago, is completely different than it is now. It's obviously changing, and the business model of VMware is changing. Our next guest uh, coming on this morning is going to be Amar Awadallah, the co-founder of Cloudera, where you know he's pioneering Hadoop and that whole movement. Where you know he, his angel investor, was the father of VMware, Mendel Rosenblum, and and so you got the Hadoop big data thing, which you know about because you guys have to deal with that social data, and everyone's talking about Hadoop. So, so what is changed in your mind over the past three years around virtualization? Not some of the you know, issues around hypervisor, but like in general, virtualization as it, as it enables, and with things like Hadoop and open source, you know, the cloud business is really going to be intersecting with the big data sector. So how do you, how do you view that? What's your vision? Yeah, I mean, I, I think um, how we think about it is that you know, companies, uh, in terms of, of their of kind of big data, data you know, used to be fairly scarce and hard to access and now it's becoming super abundant. So I think you know, what the virtualization layer does, whether it's for computing or for your human capital, is really allow you to maximize the utilization of, of your resources. And I think that's really the most exciting aspect uh, you know, for large enterprises. You know, Tim and John, last year, John, you recall, it was Zimbra was the application play, right? And relatively new. We were kind of scratching our head at the time, saying, all right, what, what's this all about? But now we've got some cousins in the, in the application portfolio, <laughs> right? with, of course, SocialCast and, and, and SlideRocket. And so what's the play there? Can you talk about that? Is it an app store that, that VMware is building out? And is that the right metaphor? Should users be thinking about it that way? Well, I mean, I, I think the, the strategy, as you'll see over the next couple of years, is, is definitely unfolding. Um, so I, I, I think the key thing to, to really think about is we're trying to help companies understand that there's a new way to work for employees. And, a lot of this is driven by things like cloud and big data, but it's also being driven by how we communicate uh, and our communication behaviors outside of the office. Um, and so we want to help companies enable those abilities inside on top of, of the virtualization stack um, and you know, really help them unlock that potential of their employee base. Okay, so but is the app store the right way to think about it? Are you guys trying to build that out or is it more, you know, that's sort of the, the consumer Mindset. Well, I mean, I, I, I think you'll see at the show when you look at uh, you know other other products um, that we have like Horizon yep. um, that you're going to start to see that strategy emerge. Um, and you know, I think application management and provisioning uh, for IT moving forward is a big issue, uh, especially when you're you're talking about employees who are bringing you know their personal devices in, employees who want more flexibility. Uh, and that's only compounded with uh, you know, constraints that IT departments face today. So if we, as we think about uh, you know, our core customers, um, we want to look at how do we help them move their budgets from just being focused on operating costs to really being focused on innovation. So how can IT departments really help their business customers really innovate? And, you know, and part of that you'll see through uh, a little bit of that App Store concept with Horizon. So, so the, uh, your competitors, well, VMware's competitors, uh, you know, now that you're with VMware, uh, companies like Citrix, who we'll have on here, talk about you know, the I iPhone and the iPad being you know, revolutionary. That brings up the whole consumerization of IT. So you know, the iPhone and the iPad disrupted the enterprise with the whole notion of, oh, it's not supported device to, hey, we need to support this from the CIO down. How does the apps, what is the, how's the collision of the apps world changing? Obviously, you, you're familiar with some of the social stuff with Twitter and other big, you know, the data. And, you know, people are experienced. Is that crossing together, is it crossing over? Is it colliding? What's your view there and how do you tackle that problem? Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, uh, it's a problem that everybody is still kind of struggling to, to solve when we talk to customers. Um, they're obviously seeing a lot of kind of, you know, non-corporate devices come into their enterprise. 
uh, you know, employees are bringing their own personal equipment in and deciding that they can be more productive and effective using that rather than using, you know, the corporate supplied device. So I, I think, you know, this whole concept of apps and app stores and the consumer consumerization of IT is really uh, you're kind of unstoppable, but what's going to happen is that IT really needs to kind of begin to shift uh, how it's traditionally been done, uh, and it's definitely beginning to do that as we see in a lot of our yeah, I mean, customers. But, com but companies are blocking Facebook and YouTube and Twitter um, and saying, no, you can't use these time sinks or time wasters, as they say. So, you know, how do you bring a social application framework into the enterprise without making it a siloed, walled up product yeah. and you know, letting users not use what they normally use in their everyday life, like Facebook and Twitter. I mean, that's yeah. a challenge, isn't it? I, I, I mean, it is a challenge. I think the, uh, the idea that we've always had with a social platform um, is that it really needs to be in the flow of work. So we're not trying to create a, a parallel Facebook inside your company. We're really trying to use that social graph, that map of all the employees and their relationships to actually accelerate business processes. Um, and if you think about uh, a lot of kind of enterprise applications today that the average employee uses, you know, basically when they're using it, they have a submit and a cancel button. And that's really it, yeah. right? But a lot of times what they really need there is a discuss button, you know, the ability to actually talk. And so, you know, in order to solve that problem, you know, what do we get? We get blizzards of email, we get calendar requests, uh, and then we get stuck in these long meetings. So the idea is if we can situate the social software um, in, in kind of overlap to those business applications, we can get people focused on using the social software to actually uh, be more efficient rather than yeah. kind of the traditional uses of Facebook. And, and, and you know, I think, I think the whole social word is so uh, overrated in this space because I think what's, what, I, what was smart about what you guys did was, I mean, use the word social cast because it's got kind of that whole social media, media feel, but it's really using the technology of what, so you're modernizing uh, essentially the software layer at the top with a social graph, it's not so much social media, it's just the technology's changing, you just modernize it. So I think, you know, the, most people think like social, oh, it's a time waster, I really don't want that in my network, you know, <laughs> when in reality it's just how user experience change, you're modernizing the, the applications. Yeah, I mean, if you think about it, everything, you know, in, in business is really conversation at some point. Yeah. And so what we're trying to do is essentially enhance the ability for employees uh, to have the right conversations with the right people uh, as fast as possible so that they can become more efficient and actually drive better operating metrics for their companies. All right, so so you're talking about um, the, this really is a productivity play in a way, right? And, yeah. and um, can you talk a little bit more about specifically how you're integrating with that traditional business software? I mean, can you give an example? That might help. Yeah, so we have a, a, a product extension at SocialCast called Reach and that is uh, the ability to embed kind of these conversational streams inside existing business apps. Uh, so you can take something like Salesforce or SAP uh, or SharePoint and actually embed this real-time communication layer uh, into it. And kind of the, the, the consumer analog to this would be something like Facebook Connect. So the ability where, you know, like if you go onto a CNN story, you can see all your friends who have read it. Um, you know, if you're in your ERP system and you pull up an account, now you're going to see all the conversation in context. Uh, you know, who are the experts, who works on that? And now you can actually collaborate around those issues in that app rather than having to go to a silo place, uh, which has really been the downfall of prior kind of knowledge management endeavors. So Tim, just as we kind of wrap up the segment here, thanks for coming on theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante with uh, Wikibon.org, just theCUBE, our flagship telecast. Uh, a couple things, just give everyone, the, uh, the folks, uh, an, an update on your t current title and what you're going to be doing at VMware and what your objectives are for the year. What are, what's your goals? Yeah, so um, as you mentioned, I was the founder and CEO of SocialCast. Uh, we were acquired in May and now I'm the vice president of Enterprise Social. Um, so I'm basically, in charge of really uh, focused on expansion of the social cast product uh, and also its distribution in the market. What's your objectives for the year? I mean, any particular um, points of like specific goals? Yeah, so I mean, we have uh, some really incredible new product extensions coming out. Uh, one called Strides, um, and we're actually demoing that uh, today at the booth, and I'll be talking about it uh, in a session at 2 p.m. Um, and then we also have uh, some smaller uh, analytics updates that we're going to be really focused on 
this year, how do we help companies understand their social graph? Are you, is, any any uh, other goals like personnel? You're looking for particularly more, obviously more engineers. Everyone's looking for more engineers. Yeah. But you know, any market goals in terms of share? Can you talk about any specific business metrics at all? You know, I can talk about those right now. But uh, <laughs> come you know, on, yeah. in, in the future, in the in you're in the cube. Yeah. You're feeling good. Yeah. You know, we got a lot of green around us. You know, green green hedges and everything. It's relaxing. Green is good. All right, so final final question. What's your vision for the next five years? I mean, shoot the arrow forward. You know, show us you know, a little bit of the of entrepreneurial vision while you still have it, you know, at, at, uh, from the carryover. I'm sure you'll still have it, but, but seriously, five years, what's going to change um, in the world of well, VMware and software and user experience? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think the big thing is that, you know, what really motivated me to build SocialCast was I saw a need, at least in the economy, that we as we move into this information and knowledge economy, we really need that productivity boom. And I really believe that social software can really ex help accelerate and kick that off. Um, and if you look at the parallels uh, in the 1800s of the Industrial Revolution, uh, at the World's Fair, when the American system of manufacture came out, that really kicked off uh, you know, that big industrial revolution that led to about 180x productivity enhancement. So I really think that uh, you know, now that we've been acquired by VMware, we can really bring this vision of accelerating uh, the human capital component of companies forward and really drive a productivity boom uh, you know, for the next couple decades. What, about, what, about the, what are you hearing from customers? Um, obviously, you guys are very successful. Um, what's the number one trend and, um, I don't want to say pain point, but challenge, opportunity that you're hearing from your customer base what can you share with the folks out there that you're uh, seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, I, I think their big challenge is that the way they do business now is, is much different than they've done in the past. Um, if, you, if you talk to a, a lot of our manufacturing clients, you know, they'll basically tell you that you know, even as, as recent as 10 years ago, they would design and build a product with a team that was in one physical location and everybody could stand around a whiteboard and discuss it. Uh, and today the world is, is very different. Um, you know, all the components are made in different countries with different teams. There's locations that have specialization. So being able to not only connect those uh, with virtualization at the computing layer, but to be able to uh, connect the conversations of those folks um, is really a value add for them. And that's really what they're focused on. Well, congratulations on your success this year. I'm really psyched to see how you guys built your company. You worked hard, went to the market, we were successful, and uh, acquired by VMware. So congratulations on that, and good luck this year. Thanks for coming inside theCUBE. Yeah, thank you. Tim Young, SocialCast, great to have you on. Thank you. Appreciate it. Uh